He is the champion. The 18-year-old Lotus Formula One junior Esteban Ocon from the Prima Power team. He won the Drivers' Championship at the penultimate round in Imola. It feels really good. It means it has been a fantastic season. Um, yeah, thanks to all my guys that, uh, that uh, were working here uh, all the season. Uh, they, they, they were just fantastic and, uh, and thanks for that. The final race weekend of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship takes place at Hockenheim. Battle for Vice Championship between Max Verstappen and Tom Blomqvist is on. Let's go racing. It is the 31st race of the season and Max Verstappen defends the lead in the first corner. Lucas Auer is a P2 and Tom Blomqvist a P3. Jordan King overtaking the new champion Esteban Ocon who ends up at P7. Max Verstappen wins the race. It makes win number 10 for Max. Lucas Auer, P2. Tom Blomqvist, P3. In the standings, Verstappen increases his gap to Blomqvist from 3 to 13 points. But he's feeling pretty good now. We modified the, the car a little bit for this race and it was just working great. I had a good start, that was the main thing. And afterwards, I could build the gap uh, further and further. So, yeah, I think it was a good race. So race two and Verstappen will be starting from P9. Blomqvist will start from P1. And uh, the pole sitter, Tom Blomqvist there. The Jogonia I am with Carlin Driver. Tom Blomqvist then some great art there from one of our cameramen. As uh, Blomqvist defends the lead, it's Jogonia I am with Carlin teammate uh, Antonio Giovinazzi loses his second position to Lucas Auer. Michaela Beretta loses a rear wing. Spike Goddard runs over the rear wing. And now Max Verstappen having a go at Jordan King. Is he going to remain absolutely committed as we watch this in replay? Indeed he is, and he remains committed to his mantra, doesn't he? Overtaking is an art, as displayed by Max Verstappen. Now we have a red flag. And the reason, well, Antonio Fuoco and Jake Dennis are discussing it. Let's see it. So Fuoco dives up the inside. Contact between Jake Dennis and Antonio Fuoco. Wouldn't like to call who's to blame there, to be honest. Uh, but what it does mean is that the race ruined for both those drivers. Uh, the uh, pit perch there, also in discussion about that. So Tom Blomqvist wins race two and overtakes Max Verstappen in the Drivers' Championship. The standings now 405 to 403. To be honest, uh, I'm more focused on winning the race than I, I am, you know, getting second because at the end of the day, it's, it's all about winning, you know, and that's what we set out to do at the beginning of the year. We didn't win the championship, so now we've got to win the races, and if that brings us second, then, you know, great. Well, here is a brilliant helicopter shot for the final race of the season. And there's smoke coming out, billowing out of the car from Gustavo Menezes, who is waving. Look at that, it's like an old diesel starting up. Lucas Auer managing the uh, deciding overtaking manoeuvre and passes Tom Blomqvist in lap one for the lead. Max Verstappen runs off the track and loses P6 to Esteban Ocon. But now Verstappen starts his fight back and he gets P6 back from Esteban Ocon. Lucas Au wins the last race of the season. Number five, Jordan King is going to take P2 and Tom Blomqvist P3. So there's Lucas Auer. And there is the championship podium. Ocon with a gap of 58 points to Blancvest, who finally beats Verstappen with 11 points. Lucas Auer becomes fourth. It has been a brilliant season. Esteban Ocon will celebrate, and so too his family and friends.